Our names are Leela Hopper and Benes Gordon Corbier, NOSM Dietetic Intern Graduates, and we plan this project with the Northeast Cancer Center to evaluate a culinary nutrition intervention with patients undergoing cancer treatments. We have no conflicts of interest or financial support to disclose. Nutritional intake along with a cancer patient's nutrition knowledge and food skills impacts their survival rate, recovery, and well-being. Tailored nutrition strategies can reduce the risk of malnutrition and improve short-term outcomes. Cooking with Dietitians are culinary nutrition interventions which began in 2019 at the Northeast Cancer Center. The purpose of this evaluation is to determine the impact on food literacy and the well-being of cancer patients. This evaluation plan followed a five-step process as seen in Figure 1. Our focus was on steps 1 through 3. Step one was focusing the evaluation, which included a literature review, drafting evaluation questions, developing a logic model, as seen in figure two, and the desired short-term outcomes. Step two involved selecting the methods to collect data, which was a post-intervention survey tool. Step three included drafting and finalizing a 19-item paper survey. Phase two and three will be conducted in 2021 to 2022. Phase two will be curriculum development, participant recruitment, and delivery of the Cooking with Dietitians, along with the survey administration post-intervention. The data will then be collected, cleaned, and analyzed. Phase three will focus on drafting and publishing a research paper and sharing findings with other cancer centers and health professionals. Although nutrition and the role of dietitians are crucial pillars in cancer-related treatments and recovery, the scientific evidence of utilizing hands-on teaching to optimize nutritional status is lacking. With more evidence, a precedent could be set for dietitians to offer hands-on programs in cancer centers. This could increase the nutritional status amongst patients undergoing cancer-related treatments, overall benefiting their well-being. Our survey tool and references are available upon request. The contact information for Julie Abridge, Principal Investigator, is on our presentation. Thank you for listening.